Okay, Bobby, uh, you beat Ivanka Huska in the final round, um, which is a very important result for the men's team. Tell us something about the game. Uh, yeah, so I'm really glad to get this win. Um, it's been a long and frustrating tournament, and my results haven't been great, but yeah, it's good to finish with a win, and it's really important for the team because, um, yeah, I think we're basically going to win the match now. Um, the game, um, she surprised me in the opening with this bishop d6. I hadn't checked it at all, and I didn't really remember anything, so I just played something very harmless uh, just to get a game, and it was completely equal for a long time. But she started getting low on time and started making some mistakes, and then I won. Okay, let's look at the game. Okay, Bobby, we start early in the game, and uh, I think your opponent surprised you with the next move. Yeah, so... Yeah, my opponent's been playing the Slav in this tournament, so I didn't even check 2e6, let, let alone some sideline. So yeah, so she played um, bishop d6. So the main move is bishop e7. And yeah, I hadn't checked this at all. Um, so I, I knew the main line is like knight c3, and then mm -hmm. uh, there's, some, there's some bishop g5 and play for e4, but I hadn't checked it at all, and obviously she had. So I didn't want to go into anything um, too theoretical, so I just made a normal move. Uh, and then, yeah, keep going, ninety seven b yeah, b3, and then she plays 94, and, um, yeah, so I made this move bishop c1, which is, like, it's, like, definitely very harmless, so I've, I've spent, basically, we get a stone wall where I've spent, I've wasted two moves going back and forth, and she's spent two moves going bishop d4, bishop d6, so basically, she's up, she's up one move, so basically, she just gets a stone wall where black is a tempo up, yeah. so... Um, yeah, so it's definitely equal and black has no problems at all, but okay, I get her out of book and we just get a game. Yeah. So, um, yeah, keep going. Game 27. continues fairly yep. logically. F5, nice c 3 b6. This is all very standard. Yeah, I played rook d1 here. So I thought she wanted to play bishop a6 and then like rook c8, c5 and target this pawn. So my point was that like if she plays bishop a6, um, I was going to play a4 and play a5 and try to annoy that bishop like this. But then she just played bishop e7 very quickly. I'm not sure if she actually saw a4, but anyway. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, now she doesn't get this like pressure on the c4 pawn. But yeah, it's very equal. Um, so I thought when I played rook d1 that like one one drawback would be that like she gets her knight to g4. Oops, <laughs> take it back. Yeah. And then like starts attacking f2. And then, yeah, this can get pretty pretty sharp. I don't really want to go back. And if I play knight five, I was looking at, like, yeah. Okay, I have no idea if this is any good, but something like this. Um, and then, okay, she gives up the dark square bishop, but f2 is hanging. And if I go here, I was, like, looking at queen c7, and maybe I just lose this pawn. Yeah. So, yeah, something like this would have been pretty sharp. Uh, she didn't go for it. She, put, she took on c3, which is, like, very solid. I was a bit surprised. I thought she got a good position from the opening, and... Given they needed to win some games, she, she might she might play some something more sharp, but yeah, she just played very solidly, uh, which is totally fine. It's like black is just very comfortable. It's just equal. Uh, just keep yeah. playing a five. Moving on. Yeah, queen c two, just to stop a four. Yeah, cool. and then like around here, like my basically I knew that like it's completely equal, and I don't really have a plan, so I just started playing quickly. Just I thought if I can't if I can't win on the board, I'll just get her in time trouble. <laughs> and um, I actually worked very well because she started spending like quite a bit of time on each move, right. and um, you know eventually you'll you get you get down to like a few minutes and something will happen. Um, so I was just moving around. I, I'm not actually threatening you're anything. Not, you're not doing anything. You're no, waiting no, no, to no. see. I'm playing like I play rook c2 and I'm pretending I'm doing something. But and then she started playing like strange moves. Like she played h6, which is like like it's just a small weakness. Maybe it's not it's not much, but mm -hmm. it's sort of. Yeah, it made me it made me like feel a bit more confident because she was clearly like, yeah, stuck on ideas like queen e8. It's it's a very strange move to um because I'm not threatening anything at all. Um, yeah, I played queen a1. Queen a1, yeah. Yeah, I'm just like you know just now she has to think about c5 and the bishop taking g7, which is probably not a real threat. But she played bishop f8, which like. Yeah. So now she has. Yeah, but basically Imagine, she's imagining something. Yeah, yeah. She's just defending, diagram. and I'm. It's still, it's still completely equal. <laughs> I went ninety one. So, yeah. um, so I'm going to d three. She went king h seven, which is also very strange. <laughs> Ninety three, and then she played g five, which is like, it's probably totally fine, but 
at least now I have something to a target. Yeah, a target. And I played F3, and like around here, she had maybe maybe like 15 minutes left, and the position's going to get very sharp, and we still yeah. have we still have 16, 16 moves to which go. Is, yeah. yeah. So now now I can now I can like try to sharpen the game, and she's going to get low on time on like move 30, move 35. Yeah. And um. And this is a concession, I guess. Is yeah, it? takes takes. Um, well, doesn't, I think it makes sense though to play C5. To play C5. Yeah. Yeah. And and now. Yeah, now I need like because my king is also quite weak when I've played F3. Okay, yeah. So like, yeah, I, I want the bishop on A1 and the queen on B2, so I can give me checkmate on That's A2. Way, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so I played F4. And, Oops, um, sorry. Yeah, that one. So <clears throat> she took, which makes sense. Basically, if I took with a pawn, which is natural, I think she wanted to play knight C5, and there's mm. a pin here, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I mean, this is like both sides have to be careful because my my king is also quite weak. Yeah. So, yeah, I was calculating some lines. I played bishop takes and, like, strategically this is very bad because my... Isolates Yeah, isolates upon. upon. But, um, yeah, I was expecting her to play knight c5. I was going to go here, but, okay, my pawn structure is pretty terrible, but this bishop is very strong. And, okay, her king is quite weak. And, yeah, we're going to get low on time, and I'm, I'm going to try to play, like, some g4 and, um, yeah, and just try to attack the king. Because like strategically, it's very bad for me. Um, but yeah, I was looking at something like this, and I thought it was completely unclear. But yeah, instead, yeah, she played b5, which is like, yeah, this is a really bad move. So you just got a pass pawn. Yeah, but basically, after c5, it's like b5 doesn't look that bad, but after c5, it's it's kind of surprising how how strong this pawn is. I just go c6, c7. Two rooks behind. Yeah, two rooks, and she can't she can't block it, and. I just put the pawn on c7 and there's actually no way to stop it. So yeah, mm -hmm. but b5 was, I think she was, yeah, she was getting low on time and she wanted to play something quickly. Yeah, I mean, she's obviously trying to generate something because the, yeah. the women have a difficult match situation. Yeah, so. I think that could be it as well. Yeah. And you're just kind of sitting back playing rope-a-dope and soaking up well, whatever I mean, she tries I was, to do. I mean, I was trying to win this game. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't playing for a draw. Um, yeah, b4 and, uh, okay, like, oops, so. Sorry, just go back. Like the only thing that, like, you have to calculate is c6. Just mm -hmm. right, so this doesn't work at all because um, she just takes back with the queen, and there's no tactics. But mm -hmm. but yeah, I just play, I just put the knight back on f2, and and then suddenly I go c6, c7, and ne next, and it's very surprising how <laughs> yeah. how hard it is to stop this pawn. So like she can like she goes here and tries to block. I just play yeah. c6. Yeah, you've got three guys all yeah. looking after her, and then. You, I, so. I'm threatening c7. You can't play rook yeah. c7 because the bishop b6. I mean, I, I saw this, and okay, she doesn't lose any material, um, but it, it looked it looked Bit like sad. I didn't see a win yeah. here. Maybe there is no forced win, um, but it just looks like I, I was probably just going to play e4 and like try to open up the king. Yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe this is probably a better chance than what she did because here there is no like immediate win. No. But she went for some tactic that just didn't work, so she played e5. And the point is that after I take, she wants bishop g7. Now if I play c6, she takes on e5 with the knight. Um, and then the knight's pretty strong there. But, but then, uh, yeah, I had like maybe 20 minutes and I just spent, spent them all just calculating this. Um, and this just wins tactically. Like, yeah. so queen takes, I take g7. Otherwise I'm attacking two pieces, so she has to take. And then, mm -hmm. okay, e4 probably also wins, and I just push the two pawns. But uh, this just like... You just calculate a few lines here, um, 87, and okay, everything's hanging, but um, yeah, well, m more of her pieces are hanging. Yeah. <laughs> so queen e3 is the only chance, and then uh, takes, takes, and then, yeah, she, she told me afterwards, she just missed rook e1. Yeah, rook e1. Is, like, I can play queen b1 as well, but then after bishop d3, it's a little bit unclear. Okay, rook e1. Yeah. yeah, but rook e1 is just sort of end, ends the game. Uh, so everything's hanging, but... I'm going to look up. Sure, yeah. So yeah. I think it's the only move, and then okay, queen d1. Uh, well, there's probably many ways to win. Yeah, oh, she's, just, yeah she's down yeah. a rook here, and she's not threatening anything. So yeah. I just trade the queens. and Effective end of, end of game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much. <laughs>